Here we are in Studio One. I'm going to show you how to use Vocodyne, and it's actually really simple in Studio One. First of all, you want to make sure that your audio settings are straight. So go to Audio Setup in here. Have your audio interface selected. And what is essential here is that your device block size is somewhere in between 128 and 512 samples. 128, 256, or 512. Sample rate should be 44 or 48 kilohertz. Then all you need to do is create an audio track mono audio track because we just need that voice going in and then if you have Vocodyne installed you should be able to browse effects here and find Vocodyne. You can choose between either the VST3 or the VST version. If you're on Mac and I'm not sure if Studio One supports it but there's an AU version and that is only for Logic Pro so that will not work. It's a different routing. I'll go with the VST3 version, drag it onto my audio track. Of course Make sure that you have the input with your microphone selected if you want some microphone input. Straight out the box, you're just going to hear a little bit of noise when you're speaking into the microphone. That's because you're only hearing the consonant detection. But you can use it in auto mode that is basically like auto-tune by activating auto and then set your scale up in keys here. And this is set to a C major scale right now. You can set it up however you want. Now it'll work. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the more exciting part about Vocodyne and the way to get the best results if you want a talk boxy sound, because the playing style with the talk box is an essential part of the sound, is to root some MIDI to it and play along with your keyboard as you're singing into the microphone. So I'm going to close this for now. And we're going to make an instrument track. And you don't need to add any plugins, no Vocodyne on this track, no other plugins on this track. All you need to do is actually hit this drop down and select Vocodyne. Now this MIDI is going into the Vocodyne plugin. So whenever you're ready, just record. Test this Vocodyne. A little, little, I don't know how to navigate this. I'm not a Studio One user myself, but you can see how easy that was. Now, if you have one track here and you just wanna lay a harmony down, you can mark both of these tracks. I don't know what the shortcut is, but you can duplicate them and then you need to make sure that the MIDI track is rooted to the second instance of Vocodyne. And now you're good to go. Test this Vocodyne. Simple as that. And then you can create some amazing music. Make sure to check out the interface mastery video and the pro usage video for best results.